According to the program, uh, Bishop Barnabas Lekhanyane was going to be joining us this morning. Unfortunately, he hasn't been able to. However, to read his message of tribute on behalf of the ZCC, please welcome Minister of Religion, Isaac Ledwaba. <laughs> Uh, thank you, Ms. Program Director. My uh, greeting to the Mponya family, I'm saying may the healing peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. I'm greeting our Honorable President, Bomatamela. Uh, Sarah Ramaphosa and my former Gazwabo, our former presidents, and all profitable observed. I'm going to read you here a eulogy by my master, His Grace the Right Reverend Bishop Dr. B. E. Lehanyane, on behalf of the Zion Christian Church to the Maponya family. And he says, let, the first, let me firstly greet you all in the greeting words of peace, which we say in the home language of Ntate Maponya, Khotswa Evelele. On behalf of myself, the family, and the entire broader family of the Zion Christian Church, I join the multitudes of people all over the world to convey our collective gratitude as we mourn the passing of this, the doyen of black business in South Africa. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 48, verse 17 says, and I quote, mourn for him, all you who surround him, everyone who knows his name, tell how mighty scepter he shattered. I'm sorry, tell how mighty Scepter is shattered, the glorious staff. Ntate Maponya was not a member of the Zion Christian Church. However, he always made a trip to the holy city of Moria to attend our Easter and September services. In fact, he never missed any of the functions of the church. Therefore, he was a friend of the ZCC. In his frail age, Dr. Mapunya continued to live an exemplary life, full of humility and understanding. Since 1964, when he and others like Dr. Chonko and Dr. Cyprian Lekoma founded NAFCOC, Dr. Mapunya defied systematic boundaries to set up model businesses that serviced his people. As he departed this earth, only a year shy of a century, I can personally attest that he had not slowed down at all. Blessed with a sharp mind and excellent memory, coupled with energy that could put some men half his age to shame, and in true character of the goal, Ntate Maponya was very humble. He was a family man. He didn't like fights but was not afraid nor scared to fight for what was right. He lived according to the dictates of Ecclesiastes chapter 9, verse 10, which reads thus, whatever you find, do with your hands, do it all with, my, with your might. For in the grave where you are going, there is no work or planning or knowledge or wisdom. We are grateful for his life and we thank God for having brought in, in our midst a man of Ndatema Ponya's character. The length of his life was matched by the grandeur legacy he leaves for black business to emulate. Unfortunately, Ntate Maponya departs at a time when black business is not united. My message to black business 
Is that the only tribute to can pay, you can pay for Ntate Maponya is to unite. Ntate Maponya will rest in peace if black business can revert back to the days when it operated and spoke with one unison voice. Here lies a man who did not need black economic empowerment to make it in business. Ndatema Ponya was not a BEE or a, a tender premier. He was a self-made black mogul. The God that we believe in and serve will comfort you in your grief and give you strength and courage to carry on building on the successful foundation laid by Ndatema Ponya. His death shall not make us forget who Ndatema Ponya was. It is in the process of life that death had to take Ntatema Ponya away from us because if it did not, at some point, as President Dabon Beggy once said, and I quote here, it would not have been faithful to the natural order of things. In the midst of this life, mankind is in death. The book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 9, verse 5, says, and I quote here, for the living know that they will die, but the dead know nothing. They have no further reward because the memory of them is forgotten. His name engra is engraved in our hearts and minds, and we shall never forget him. Thomas Campbell reassures us that to live in hearts we leave behind is not to die. We release him to go in peace because this thankless world knows no peace of the type he deserves after saving it so diligently. He achieved more than enough in one lifetime. Our thoughts and prayers during this difficult period will be with the family and all those who he loved. The ZCC is proud of its relationship with Ntate Maponya, and we sincerely mourn his passing. He shall be dearly missed. Thank you very much.